part. I know this is out of nowhere, Come on, but night. what's your type, Nozomi? Like today? That really is out of nowhere. Where's the Ashton? Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what kind of person I'm supposed to like. Take a You're good to go. Here's some medicine. Take it. Don't push yourself. You seem just fine to me. Come again if anything happens. You seem just fine. Come again if anything happens. I need more money. Just fine, come again if anything.
What's going on? Don't know. Get out of the way, Mr. Hugo. You are Miss Takagi, correct? I am afraid I cannot do that. I just want to talk to Haruka. You'll have to discard what's in your hand first. But, but I can't! This is the only way I can get his attention! He won't even talk to me anymore! Things have been so crazy. There's no telling what's going to happen. I can't just die without any closure. I want to hear it from you, Haruka. It's the least you could do. <sighs> you said you loved me. Was it all a lie? You yeah. said you weren't good with girls, but that I was different. You gave me a promise ring. You said we'd be together forever. We made plans for Christmas next year. We even talked about what kind of family we wanted. If you weren't lying, then... Did you stop loving me? Was I just not good enough for you anymore? I can change! Or... Are you just testing my feelings for you? Like... Whether I really love you or not. Did you think I was going to leave you first? I just don't get it. You broke up with me out of nowhere and cut me off completely. Talk to me. Say something. I don't get it. I don't understand why you do this to me. What did I have to do to make you stay? <laughs> just didn't click. That's all. See, love is like two halves of a shell. If the feelings don't line up, it won't close right. You were just too into me. Too... wholesome for my tastes. I just couldn't do it anymore. I, I'm not all that wholesome, really. And if you want me to back off, I will. So... Can we get back together? No. Sorry, but no. <coughs> Shells don't change. If things don't click the first time, they never will. Try to force it, and the pearl inside will get crushed into grit. And no one wants that. What? B but... That's why I broke up with you. You'd only get hurt if we stayed together, so I spared you the pain. That won't happen. I'll make sure of it. Can't we go back to being friends, at least? Ugh, oh, this is exactly why I don't talk to my exes. Huh? Get a clue, will you? Do you have any idea how uncomfortable this is? If you love me, why would you go out of your way to creep me out like this? I... I can't just give up on you. I love you. You're obsessed with me, more like. You're just scared of getting dumped. The only one you love here is yourself. for having my back, Mr. Yugo. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's quite all right. I doubt she intended to hurt you. Perhaps nothing would have changed had I not been here. Even so, I am not the one you should be apologizing to. Guess 
that came out of nowhere for you guys, huh? <laughs> One of my exes. It happens a lot, but yeah, I'm going through the same thing with Akane right now. But hey, I guess anyone would act that way after getting dumped like last week's trash. Then why do it if you already know? Why? <sighs> because it's what the first person I went out with did to me. Gave me the cold shoulder. Never contacted me again. It made me want to do it to someone else. Still does. But as for why I'm like this? Hell if I know, man. Shit happens. How could you not know? That doesn't make any sense. The way I see it, it sounds like you're just a scumbag. Hmm. <sighs> There's something wrong with Akane. That much is for sure. But if you're the reason she's like this, then your baseball club friends must be rolling in their graves. Are you saying it's my fault they're dead? Could Try we... asking yourself. Even scumbags like you can feel some guilt, right? You're the vice president of the TSC, correct? Yeah. I see you're helping Shinya out. He can be a bit distant, but I assure you he's a good lad at heart. I do hope you'll get along. The mist in Block B has dissipated, so I'll be checking over the facility. Shinya. I understand Sora has entrusted you with a task. Don't do anything to endanger yourself, all right? All right. The two of us are worried about you, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Let's continue our investigation. We can enter Block C from Block B. There should be a ton of mist there. Shinya, Vice President. I want to apologize for Haruka. I know he's been a pain. Did he tell you about what happened? Yep. 
He's such a loser, isn't he? Where do all his groupies even come from? I just don't get what they see in him. He wouldn't be in so much trouble if he picked his girls better. Or let them down easier, at least. <laughs> Upset me? Eh, I guess. I can't stand guys like him. He deserves way more trouble than he's getting. You've heard Haruka go on about his shells fitting together or whatever, right? It's so weird. He probably picked it up from some girl. To me, love is more like buttoning clothes. Two halves of a shell will never fit together unless they're a perfect match. But the wrong button can still keep clothing together, even if it does get all wrinkled. After all, you can fall in love with just about anyone as long as you ignore their flaws. People who settle, loveless marriages, friends with benefits, it's all proof. Of course, if one button is mismatched, the rest of the fabric starts to get misaligned too. So even if two people are meant to be, the rest of the mismatched buttons will keep them apart. The fabric rumples further and further, and the wrinkles get worse and worse. The world is full of flawed love, wrinkles, loose threads and such. Haruka and I are one of those couples, a bundle of loose threads waiting to be pulled. And if they are, that's fine with me. He tries to cover up the scars of his past relationships. I try to cover up my unconventional feelings. Both of us are only using each other to smooth out the wrinkles as best we can. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't get this romance stuff at all. But... Who's to say if what's conventional is always good? And what's unconventional is always bad. Unconventional doesn't mean unacceptable. It doesn't mean you aren't allowed to be happy. Huh? Mismatched buttons apply to more than just romance, you know. My family's not a traditional one, but they save me all the same. Sometimes it's the unconventional that can bring you more happiness. Using the wrong button isn't necessarily bad. Using the right button isn't necessarily good. Whatever your unconventional feelings are, I'm sure there's no reason to hate yourself for them. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to talk for so long. No, I should thank you. You're right. Even if they're unconventional, it doesn't mean I'm not allowed to be happy. But forget about that. Let's be honest here. My relationship with Haruka was never that great. By the way, Shinya... Huh? You're pretty cute, you know. Especially when you blush. Please don't.
Master Hugo? Why won't you let me through? Did you be... I'm simply suggesting you visit the infirmary. You don't seem well. I don't, huh? Maybe it's because your son was playing too rough with me. Perhaps I could complete your errand in your place. Though perhaps not as swiftly. Oh? My! Always the gentleman, aren't you? But this isn't the kind of errand you can Oh, run. you're not doing... Akane! And here comes Shinya now! Oh, whatever shall I do? I was hoping to go cool down Haruka, but someone is blocking my way. Fine by me, though. The more obstacles I overcome, the more romantic all of it is. I don't quite understand what you're getting at. But whatever it is, I get the feeling you're up to no good. You've got it all wrong. Be a dear and let me pass. Then we can each go about our business. Is that right? Don't. If we let her do what she wants, we're going to regret it. Hmm. If that's what Shinya thinks, then I simply must believe him. Hanging up on a fragile little girl? Three against one, even? You truly are despicable. Look who's talking. Are you looking for a fight? You don't know when to give up. I don't mind, but didn't you learn anything from last time? Well... I guess we'll just have to find out. <gasps> Are you okay, Yugo? Yes, I am fine. Thanks to him. President. It would seem Miss Tono has fled. For her to set off an explosion with nothing but a gesture. I never imagined such a weapon could exist. Modern technology truly is remarkable. I underestimated her. I'm afraid these old bones of mine just aren't what they were. I imagine your pursuit of her is related to Sora's request. A shame she got away. Yeah. That is quite the dangerous weapon she has. If left unchecked, she could cause untold destruction. Shinya? Vice President, do take care. No need to worry about me. You must get going. President. What? Or, um, I want to thank you for what you did back there. If you hadn't no been problem. there, there's no telling what might have happened. I've 
I've been beating myself up about it. It's just like I thought. I've got a long way to go. Sora and Yugo are so good to me, but I honestly don't deserve it. That might be true for anyone else. But me? I'm worthless. I'm too hard to love. I don't deserve to be treated with such kindness. I don't deserve... But if I can be useful to them, that would give even a lost cause like me a purpose. I have to work harder. I have to do better. Sorry. This isn't the time to be complaining. It seems this place too. <laughs> Are you crying? an admirer. Congratulations. the stuff I want to anymore with this rickety old bot. You seem just fine. Come again if anything.
by your side. <laughs> I'm by your side. <laughs> what is it? I'll do anything. Crying? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean when we first met? Right. About that, there was this awful liar. He told me he loved me so many times, but he was just like the rest. Oh, but don't worry about him. He's in the past now. He couldn't get out of the club building after all the mists showed up. I was worried enough to come here to look for him, but no one gets out of the mist, so my friend tried to stop me. He told me he loved me, though, so I came in anyway. I thought he was different. He screamed and ran away. I chased after him over and over again, but all he did was run and cry. I realized he didn't love me after all. If he did, he wouldn't have run away from me. True love conquers all. See? Nothing's changed. The mist I found hope because of you. I know you'd never lie to me. You love me. No, 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 no. One day or another. <sighs> Forget about the past. Uh, if you say so. One more. <laughs> oh, yes. Anything. Should I give you two some alone time? The more you know me, the more you'll love me. Hold on a moment. If you answer the call from here, she might get dragged into the other world with us. Can't you get her to leave somehow? She seems infatuated with you. I doubt she'll listen to anyone else. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Leave. Not in the video. All right. Then let me test you. You should know these things about me. If your love is true, first question. What? I don't know. Wrong. Not even close. There's no way you love me. You don't, it's fine though. I don't mind. You'll love me someday. I don't. <laughs> huh? You're not. All right. You should know the first quest. I don't. I don't know. Wrong. Not even. There's no way. It's fine. You'll love me. <laughs> huh? You're not. All right, you should know the first question. Wrong. Not even. There's no way. It's fine. You'll love me so. <laughs> huh? You're not. All right, you should know the first question. Wrong. Not even. There's no way you. It's fine though. You'll love me so. <laughs> huh? You're not. All right. 
You should know this first question. Yeah! That's Rapunzel is my favorite fairy tale! It's a story of time for the next question. What do I... Nope. Oh my god. That's not it at all. How can you say you love me if you don't even know what I hate? It's fine though. I don't mind. You'll love me some. <laughs> huh? You're not. All right. You should know these things first. Question. Yeah. Rapunzel, in time for the. Listen, if you love Rapunzel, I don't even know. Nope. I don't even know. It's not it at all. How can you say you? It's fine though. You'll love me. <laughs> huh? I'm happy you're not. No. All right. You should know these things. The first question. Yeah. No, no. Rapunzel is my favorite fairy tale. It's a story of how amazed time for the next question. Yeah, that's right. I hate the little mermaid. Last question. What's my type? Yeah. Wait. Someone who loves me so much to walk through hell with me. Thanks for answering all my. You definitely so. I believe you. I believe that you love me. How can you move now? <laughs> and I love you too. I lo okay. I'll be right outside waiting for you. Yeah, of course. I have nothing to worry about. You love me. <laughs> Crazy. I know I asked you to deal with her, but I didn't think you'd do it like that. You really are a demon. A philandering one. Keep playing with fire, and one of these days, you're bound to get burned. Hopefully, she won't remember her time as an unsettled when she's no longer under the influence of the mist. Anyway, shall we? Yeah. Hello, Akane. Akane? What is it, Shinya? Are you that surprised to see me? No, but... I guess they don't necessarily have to show up at the last one. My monarch told me that my ideals were being destroyed, so I came. And look who I found. Not just Shinya. But the vice president, too. You two are just awful. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. What's your angle here? You're hurting people, killing them even. Is this revenge against Haruka?
my ankle? Well... Well... I don't want to be hated by the person I love any more than I already am. I want to be loved. For our hearts to be one. I want our wishes to be fulfilled. For us both to find what it is we're looking for. In other words, my angle is love. <sighs> I want to find happiness for both of us. No matter what, I want to be loved again. Even if it costs me my life. Not that it will. This isn't the way to get someone to love you. Especially not for a scumbag like him. I'd say that all pact bearers are like this, but you're just messed up in your own right. It doesn't make any sense, but as long as you get what you want, right? It's okay that you don't understand. You don't need to. You're not the one with these feelings. That's true. I don't have to get it. After all, your business isn't any of mine. So let's just end this. Time for you to give up on your wish. Aww. You really are adorable. I can't let things end here, though. I'll show you the true nature of my love. Oh, I... The cold, icy suffering that froze my heart. I'll pass. I've got enough to worry about. Let's go, Shinya. I can't let them down. Here I go. Take this. Don't bother. Just give up. Face judgment. Devour them. Arouse. Give up. Face judgment. Devour them. Ha! I'll support you. Arouse.
take me. Not yet. Devour them. Underway! Arouse. We both have a long way to go. There we go. Why? cold that has warped my mind. A power to turn my silly dream into everything else into ash. A fire to match the suffering in my soul. A power to freeze my melted love and everything else into ice. A fire to match the suffering in my soul. Give. Take. You. You. Free yourself from grief. Be bound by joy eternal. I want a power Be that symbolizes way, uh, the temperature of my heart. Be to erase way. the stains of the dream I lost. To grinding. return to the days we spent together. Be one way grinding.
so her authority could manipulate temperatures. That explains where her ice powers came from. Come on, let's grab her and head back. Let's, let's kill her. No more miss. Who is it? There's nothing wrong with her physically, but she won't regain consciousness. Akane is in the same condition as Karama. I think it's safe to say this is because of her ideals being shattered. But you guys only destroyed two, right? Did someone else destroy the third one? Or maybe she only had two to begin with? The mist in Block D of the club building still hasn't cleared up. That must mean that one ideal is still around somewhere. But what about Akane? Karama only collapsed after we destroyed all three ideals. This situation is all sorts of strange. But for now, we should investigate Block D and destroy that final ideal. The mist won't go away otherwise. Ah, uh, okay. So, see you guys on the next episode. See you guys.